What's up guys, this is Valk Camo from Dream Ride. So I, I got a really cool question the other day on one of the blog posts I made recently. And Michael here uh, asks a really good question uh, about uh, is there a way uh, Hi Val, new to Dance, just starting out with, it with a 4.8 question. Is there a way to relocate the universal change its p pivoting point. Thank you, Michael. And I gave him an answer here. I'm going to do a short video about it because I just think this is a very important question, a really good question, and a, it has a powerful answer that I think needs to be shared. Um, here's how it works. There is no, uh, no, you know, direct way of changing, altering the pivoting point. And what the pivoting point is, is if you if you load, for instance, a cube into your scene, and you switch over to, for instance, translation tool, and I'm gonna select the cube in my scene tab, then you see this uh, gizmo or whatever it's called, the translation tool gizmo showing up here. And you can alter this cube by dragging or you know rotating this point here. As you can see, this point is at the very bottom of the cube. So if you start rotating it, switch over to the rotation tool, you rotate it along that point. Now the question is how do you move this this item so we can maybe move it to the corner of the cube instead? Well, there is no direct way of doing this as I just you, at least not that I found off or um, heard of, but there is an, another way that I use extensively um, that is to play a little bit with null objects. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to just undo the rotation. I'm going to go ahead and create a new null object. Okay, and as you can see now, it's located at the very same position as the cube um, or similar. It doesn't really matter what it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the cube, I'm going to drag the cube to the null object, so it's parented to the null, okay? Now, when I click on the cube, I can now move and change its relationship um, against, towards that other point, right? So now you can see that I'm, I've, you know, you can do this more precisely in the top view. So you can really see exactly that it ends now on, on the very edge of the cube. And also, if you are, if you're really doing this, you know, carefully, uh, you notice that it's minus 50 here and minus 50 here. So you can enter precise values, right? So what we've done now, I've created a, a, a kind of a rig. So if you switch over to the null object, now you are you're having this this translation thing uh, over here at the edge. So now if I switch to, for instance, rotation, now the cube rotates along that axis I've just selected. So it's really powerful. Works great on static objects. Works great on chain of object, chains of objects, right? If you have several objects stacked together, it looks like a charm. It works on figures. As long as you don't, um, you know, um, it doesn't work on on skeleton items like you know arms that are part of a figure. Uh, that it doesn't work on those parts, but it works on the entire figure. But if you have a more complex structure and parent it to know the entire structure, and you can have semi null objects, you know, along the structure, that will also work uh, perfectly. So. To answer that question, Michael, this is the way to do it. This is the way I'm doing inside Dash Studio. You can obviously export the cube into a modeling software and change its pivot point there, but this is just a much quick, much quick way to do it. So guys, keep on rendering, keep tweaking, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, comment below, share it with others. See you next time.